Did they pay you while they're not there for rejections and sort of make sense of the questions? Yes. Who was the most impressive movie executive you worked with, in your opinion? Well, the one I, you know, I, I love Walt. <laughs> I, I got to work with him in the last six months or so of his life, you know, several projects. And Lou Wasserman at Universal was, was really impressive. And Universal had an in-house uh, producer named Jennings Lang, who was Pretty famous in Hollywood for uh, flandering around with uh, actresses and everything. He got shot a couple of times. <laughs> right, jumping out the window of uh, bedrooms. And that. He was one of the neatest men. He was just, he was just, <laughs> it was so fun to work with. <laughs> You talked about the son-in-law of uh, Walt Disney yeah, and not liking an IV, and so you just had to start over and yeah. within a few hours. It was that a lot of movies were like that, where it was just adrenaline, and you over a short period of time had to come up with an idea. Yeah, I was. I worked so many twenty-four-hour nights in Hollywood that it was, it was unbelievable. I mean, it was just they want everything next day, and when you, you'd say things like, well, you know, it's going to cost you this. <laughs> what, what do you think the difference is between doing the movie posters and other forms of art? What do you see the difference in this? Mm. Well, it's pretty similar, actually. You know, the only thing is, uh, again, you know, there's a lot of uh, Hand lettering and everything involved. Uh, of course, of course, now it's so different because everything's on a computer. But uh, and of course, you have uh, uh, so many. It's, Hollywood is a uh, is a union town, so everybody in Hollywood has some kind of contract. And before you can do anything in Hollywood, you have to you have to read all the legal. Contracts of all the people involved, and sometimes that determines the whole uh, what the post is going to look like. You got a, Elizabeth Taylor said, "My picture is going to be used above my name, above title, and my picture is going to be used nobody else's." And you know, your post is almost designed to read, so just go up by the legal contract. That was kind of my question: Was do you then have to get a final legal approval from the legal department of the studios? Yes. Yeah. All the all the studios uh, have hundreds of lawyers on the staff because they get sued all the time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we had, uh, everything had to go through through the legal. Department. But the the thing that's scary is we had to, to decide first. You know, we you know before we okay, you know, we work on this project. Here's a stack of legal contract, and we had to sit down and read through all this stuff and try to interpret it in an artistic manner, and uh, it's a little bit scary. But, uh, did you ever do any work outside of movies? Did you ever do any other forms of advertising or work? Yes, yes I did, uh, and I hated it. <laughs> uh, I, I briefly, uh, briefly had a, a job with an ad agency. And one of my first jobs was redesigning the LM cigarette package. And I did it and they accepted and everything, but it was so sterile. It's, uh, the the uh, commercial advertising business was just no fun at all. And uh, I got out of it really fast. Did you do any painting or drawing on your own? Just to yeah. Yeah, I love abstract. In fact, I, I prefer that because it, you have to be so tight on um, some of this, uh, most of the movie things have to be so detailed and tight. And when I do paint for myself, I like to keep it a little on the abstract side. My daughter works for a company that uh, 
puts on Broadway musicals around the United States, mostly secondary markets. Uh, so she's usually working with companies uh, from New York. She says they are all demanding. Yeah. But of those, she finds Disney to be the most demanding. That's modern new Disney. Uh, how, how did you find such things? Uh, you, you very partial to Disney. Yes, Disney was not demanding. Back when Walt was under control and uh, shortly after, you know, it got that way uh, when uh, uh, Michael Eisner and, uh, and Frank Wells kind of took over in the mid '80s. It became uh, more of a money-making operation rather than a family business. Uh, Disney was on the when I was at working on uh, most of the time. Uh, that they knew. They got one of these 10 films. And we started working right away on, in uh, July on the Christmas films and August on the January films. So we were so far way ahead and that never any overtime. Everything was pretty much out of control. Yeah? So you, you mentioned, uh, following up on a previous question, you talked about other kinds of art. But how, I, would, I would think the thing that you would most of this would be uh, posters for concerts and rock and rock concerts and yeah. And did you ever do those? I don't think I ever did. Did a lot of record covers. I did a lot of work for TV. You know, a lot of title cards for TV and uh, posters and promotions <coughs> for TV shows. Uh, I probably worked on three or four hundred TV shows and over five thousand films. Did you have other artists that worked for you? Yeah. At my peak, I had fourteen artists working for me. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. So it, it's nice having Disney there. How about Johnny Carson? Yeah, I, I, I used to go there all the time. Yeah. Love, love to Where do you live now? Oh, wait. Which do you like better? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we miss California a lot. We really do. But uh, yeah, was, uh, we lived up in the hills of Burbank. Uh, but, I don't know if you know Brace Park. Oh yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, in a way, you know, in a lot of ways, and in some ways, California is like they don't charge uh, any tax on groceries in California. Few things like that. It's, do you, do you do work now that you exhibit? No. Like at the Plaza Art Fair or the Olympia Art Fair? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you do a lot of work still? I mean, doodling and things like that? Yeah, yeah. He does an annual Christmas card that he works so he can make millions on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
This, this, this is a poster put out by the Academy of uh, Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in Lisbon. I did seven Academy Award winning uh, post, uh, posters for seven Academy Award winning films. The Star Wars poster is a horizontal format, and I'm yeah. familiar with this design, but only in the vertical. Right. Uh, now they only make vertical posters, 27 by 41, but during my peak time in Hollywood, they had about five different sizes. And the ones that, that fit the screen the best are this 22 by 28 size posters. So I chose those just because they fit the screen better. And the, were these like projected in the movie theater? No, they were, they were for, like coming attractions. They're like put in the lobby. Okay. Or put in front of the theater. Um, because it's sort of a graphic trailer. I mean, you see yeah. everything that's you're going to see when you see the movie. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious. When you were a child, a boy, at what point did you first recognize your visual creativity? Um, probably in the school when I, when I had to do a book report or whatever project that I had in school, I always did drawings mostly. But, but the actual verbiage uh, was at a minimum. <laughs> and lots of drawing. <laughs> and I used to, when I got the paper back from the instructor, then he usually said something like, uh, you do nice artwork. Or, and, but we're supposed to, we, you know, we want to hear a book report. We want to hear more. <laughs> Kid, about 13 or 14, the big sensation was the outlaw, the movie The Outlaw. Yeah, Jane Russell. Yeah. Did you ever meet the fellow who did that poster? <laughs> no, that would have been interesting. But I did, I did have an uh, interesting uh, experience with Howard Hughes. Uh, not with him personally, but when he died, Universal Studios bought the rights for all his films. And they sent me uh, to the warehouse to get all the material and, and to recreate new posters and everything for all his films. And I was so impressed with the way Howard Hughes had, had, every, had everything preserved with uh, acid-free paper in between each photograph. Uh, everything. I was so I, I, mean, I was really impressed with him. He must have been a pretty interesting guy. Yeah. I'm not sure if you have children, but if you do, are they in the field of art? No, my son's a lawyer and uh, my daughter's a housewife. <laughs> but my granddaughter seems to have a lot of talent. You know, it's so different anymore with, with everything on computer and um, it, it doesn't seem like you need talent anymore more than it seems like you need the technical uh, knowledge rather than uh, talent. Well, <coughs> you mentioned several times movies you worked on that got Academy Awards. Are there awards given for your part of in these movies? And if so, what have you won? Uh, I've never participated in any awards. I, um, it kind of bothers me. But uh, the, the, the local uh, Hollywood Reporter, which is a uh, trade paper in Hollywood, they have an annual uh, Best Post of the Year contest, but I've never, never participated. Did you consider any other universities besides KU? No. <laughs> In fact, when I came up, when I came up, I graduated from Shawnee Mission East. And I came, uh, and I always wanted to go to KU. Uh, but when I came up here to register, I was standing in line and I had no idea 
uh, what major I was going to declare. And I stand on, well, and I started thinking, well, what do I want to do? No, I can't do that. Or, I thought one time I, I love athletics, but I thought, well, maybe I should change the you know, athletic part and become a coach or something. I wasn't quite good enough to be a player. And then at the last minute, when I got up to the people to sign up, I just sketched the uh, fine arts. It's the only thing I could think of that the, like, I really knew anything about. <laughs> storyboarding in your time in Hollywood? Very little. Very little. <laughs> a little bit for, yeah, yeah, just a little bit, not too much. That's an art of mine to uh, in itself. Anything else? All right. Any other questions? Here throughout the day. So, if you have any other questions. 